Running a parent-teacher conference virtually requires two things. Parents need to be able to sign up for an appointment time, and teachers need to have a Google Meet set up for parents to join. Appointment slots can be created in Google Calendar and shared out. Previously, with Google Meets, the only way to manage multiple parents would be to create multiple Google Meets, one for each parent appointment. With the latest update to Google Meets, however, there is a better way. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the calendar and I'm going to create an appointment slot. So let's say on Monday, I'm going to go ahead and put in those appointment slot times. So let's say my appointment slots are going to be from 1 p.m. and we'll just set this to 5 p.m. You can set your hours, your time there. I'm also going to set this to 15 minute increments. Again, pick the time slot that you would need. And here I would put in Mr. James Parent Teacher Conference. Uh, you could name this, I would make it the same throughout the school so that everyone's looks similar. And then this would be linked to a calendar. If you wanted to create a separate calendar for all of your parent-teacher conferences, you could do that and create a new calendar. On this one, I'm going to leave it on my training. So I set this up. I'm going to go to more options. Now, the second part of this is I want to go create a meet for that teacher for me. So I've already created that. I've already had that link in my clipboard, and I'm just going to paste it both in the location and then I'm also going to write here, please join my meet at your scheduled time. And I'll put that link there as well. Since once they join this, they will then be guests in this appointment. Once they click on the appointment slot, they will be able to see the, these appointment or these Google Meet links inside there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now this is gonna place this here. If I wanna extend this through the three days, I can always go in, we can duplicate, and here I'll change the date to the 13th, hit save. Now it's extending that. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to duplicate, change this to Wednesday. Now I've got these set up. As you know, the key to this is this appointment page. And this appointment page will then show right here, they can jump and then click on those uh, appointment slots to sign up. So that is, this right here is the link that I wanna share out. You'll also see it by clicking here, you'll be able to access that link. That is what we wanna share out to our parents so that they get this and they can sign up for those appointment slots. Now you're probably wondering but if this appointment link how will that work is in if a parent joins in they'll just join the meet so this is what i want to show you on the other end once i have these appointment slots and parents have signed in the day of the appointment what we're going to end up seeing is in the meet you can see me here we want to go into the settings so i'll show you where to access those right off the bat i'm going to click on that and i'm going to turn quick access off if quick quick access is turned on what will happen is the uh, anyone who joins this meet will then just show up inside there now to demonstrate what will happen when somebody tries to join this meet I'm setting it up and I'm using my phone I'm going to join this meet so what will happen is I'll get the appointment I'll click on this with with my device I'm going to turn quick access off so that is turned off and then as a parent or as a teacher, I'm going to work with that parent. And as I'm talking to that parent, either that, that parent then leaves my meet or if they're still in it, what I'm going to see when somebody tries to join is this little pop-up that says somebody is trying to join this meeting. And it doesn't matter if they're in Weaver School District, so even a parent within our district, it's going to do this for everyone. So then you can say, Oh, I have somebody waiting, just like they'd be waiting at your door to come in and talk to you if it was an actual physical room. So what we would want is um, once you, would, you, you see this pop up, you would want to finish up with that other parent, and then you'll go ahead and admit them in, and we'll see the other person in there. So, so that, that is, is how, how you will manage uh, throughout that day. You'll have one link, and that is what much easier to maintain. One example I've seen that works really well for this is North Park Elementary. 
Uh, for example, on theirs, they have a link. You click this link. It then opens up this uh, sheet that gives me the teacher sign up link. So this takes me to a calendar where I can sign up. And then this is the Google Meet link. So easy for a parent to kind of go through, go ahead and click on a teacher, go to that calendar, sign up for that. And I can sign up for that. And then I can also find that meet link right here to click and then go join that meet. So this is a, a good example of a way to share that information quickly to a parent uh, right from the website. So those are the suggestions for a parent-teacher conference, a virtual parent-teacher conference during this wonderful time of year. Another option I want to add is when somebody signs up, I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a slot. And so I'm just going to go ahead and save that. You wouldn't want to use this if you put in those links, but I'm going to add that. Now, on the calendar, on the other user, um, the person who has that calendar set up, so now what we're going to see is there is a slot selected. You can actually go into this and then generate a new Google Meet if you'd like. You can't do that until they've signed up for that appointment. But that way they're already in there. You would have that guest. That's that's me. This is the calendar organizer, right? So I could add this and we can add a whole nother Google Meet for that event. So that's another option if you prefer to have a new Google Meet, but you don't want to generate all those links automatically uh, and then add them in. Now you can go into those appointments that already have people signed up and have them join this way. So that's another way to do that so that you can um, add those appointments in and add slots in. So just another option if you'd prefer to have a unique uh, meet for every meeting that you set up. So that's a way to create that on the end of the calendar.